How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's Rambles, today's video. I've taken you to Waterford City here in Ireland. I'm going to be taking you to um, a demonstration. I'm going to show you step by step how you actually cover it. So I'm outside the Bishop Palace here. This is where the parade's going to be finishing. Now it's kicking off at 2 o'clock. So I'm expecting it to be about 3 o'clock by, uh, by the time they reach here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just looking for high vantage points. You can see Obviously the parade's going to be coming down here. Now I'm not too sure if it's going to go around the corner. Or it's just going to stop here. So whatever way it is, I'm going to make sure that it'll have a, a good vantage point. Prepared before the parade comes. So. Obviously if the parade's going to be coming down here. I'll know prior to the coming. Uh, to base myself around about here. Or over there. Now what this video here is going to show you is the preparations is involved when you're doing a parade and it doesn't matter obviously what they're demonstrating about but really if you can get there before the parade starts as I say this parade's not kicking off for a further two hours it was sunny this morning but it started raining a bit it's a beautiful part of Ireland by the way if you're ever in Waterford or down the snack of the woods check it out so, so what I would do is, if you're going to a parade, uh, try to get the location first of all, find nice vantage points. Um, I'm going to retrace the route where it's going to be coming from, and then I'm going to be looking for high vantage points. I'm going to be looking for uh, bits and pieces on the wall that's going to link the photograph to Waterford. So I'm assuming there'll probably be loud healers, microphones. What you'll need to do is just Make sure that you have several vantage points where you're going to be taking the photograph because it's very easy that if for toxic you sit and uh, you leave the house or leave your business and you just go to the parade without checking the route first, you could get caught out. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm going to be retracing the journey and I'll show you different. There's Waterford Crystal over there by the way. I'm sure you've heard of Waterford Crystal. The whole thing about when you're covering demonstration, you're trying to keep yourself detached from whatever they're demonstrating about because it's easy to get lost in the moment. And irrespective of, hold on, just show you this here. Now that's a parade um, demanding 24 7 cardiac care services for the southeast at University Hospital Waterford. We care. I'm going to put that in perspective to see what the crack is. If you think about Waterford, right? Major County, you've got Kilkenny and you've got Waxford. Down the southeast, I'll just show you here. This is a. Uh, it's down in the southeast and all over Ireland. Now you've got Dublin, Cork, Galway, Limerick. Uh, they've all got 24 7 cardiac care. But down here in the southeast, the cardiac care stops at 5 o'clock through cutbacks and uh, the government here are dragging their feet. So this is what this is all about and rightly so, it's a large area and we've got a university hospital here but we've got no cardiac care as such after 5 o'clock. People have to travel over 100 miles uh, to get care. So you'll imagine, so if you get a heart attack or you have heart complications in Waterford after 5 o'clock hang back till the next morning. Waterford's the oldest city in Ireland and uh, founded by the Vikings. And obviously you got a, this is Reginald Tarr. Okay. You get the little Viking folks. So I'm thinking that over here, this side of the road, certainly over there, the parade's gonna be coming down here. The problem you're gonna have taking the shot from this side, you're going to have the backs of people here, which you're not going to want, so you're more than likely going to be better off over on down in there. Okay guys, so what I'm looking for here, as mentioned before, I'm looking for stuff that's going to make an interesting photograph. So if we've got the people going to be coming here, walking along, this uh, Reginald's tower is going to be a great um, backdrop for the parade. So obviously the people are going to be coming here, they're going to have the banners, 
more than likely been the centre of the road here. I'd be getting a low camera angle and shooting it that way there. So this is definitely going to be one spot. Is there anywhere higher? If I climbed up there, no. Up in that roof up there would be brilliant, but I can't see that happening. And also, that building there is going to cut it off. So I'm looking for a high vantage point now. There you go. There you go, Reginald's car. So guys, just over from uh, Reginald's car, I've got a higher vantage point here. Now, I can either stand up here. I can stand up here. And then I can get the long stretch of road coming on in uh, with the people all going past. We've got the buildings, the colours of the buildings going across. So this is possibly another vantage point. Okay, so there's one of their signs. Okay, but the parade is going to be going down this way here. So I'm going to get the backs of people. It's a possible shot. But this is the way they're coming. So I would have preferred that to go around. So I'm not too sure if I can rotate around. No. Such a pity. If that had been able to rotate round, you'd get a shot. But you could possibly get a shot from out here. When they go past. Guys, you're always looking for vantage points, and that's the thing, can't stress that enough. Really, what you want to do is get high vantage points, look for something that's going to link it with either the demonstration or the town of the city that it's in, landmarks, things like that. And uh, now it is possible, it's very possible they may go up that way there, Bishop's Palace is just around the corner there so it's very possible they might go up there i'll find out uh, when I, but i think they may go this way so if they happen to go up that street i'll go to the top of the street there's a set of steps up there a higher bit of ground and i'll go ahead and i'll take some photographs but we've got about an hour to go before the parade starts in the distance over there there's another one of the posters i try to zoom in here Okay, so that's one of their posters there, so that'll be the shot um, when, they're when they're coming along the road, I'll go on the opposite side of the road Take a photograph of that, with that, hopefully we'll be able to get the watch car in as well, it'll be pretty good 
Hey, there's a watchtower over there. I get across here and see the crackers. Photographer. Now, okay, so obviously we've got the watchtower on the right hand side, we've got the banner. So I'll be taking a shot roughly from here and incorporating that. I'm not too sure if that'll rotate around slightly. That'll be perfect. So, what do you do beforehand? You just come along, get yourself an angle where you want to be shooting it. Okay, so the photograph will probably be here. That way you've got the banner there, you've got the watchtower, and you've got the people sitting coming up towards you. You go, not bad. There's Waterford, there's a the main, main city square up there. City square up there, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. So guys, let me just check it out anyway and see this thing, because it is very, very important. I can't stress enough, it's very, very important to uh, scout the area beforehand. I think all in all, little Granville Hotel, beautiful hotel. So what you want to do is scout the area. It's about a two mile uh, thing. Now there's another thing I'm going to show you. Right, cross over here. See. We've been waiting here all day. Now, on the opposite side of the road, there, in that building ABC Seals in Waterford. Munster is a county uh, where Waterford is, so if I took a photograph from down there, pointing towards, with them in the background as a backdrop. Uh, people in a hundred years time without even a caption will be able to see that it's in Waterford Okay, so that's an idea for you to think about there So we're all going to be coming down this route down here and uh, Obviously what I'd want to do is I think that middle islander The wee islander between the two of them would probably be the best shot because you'll be able to get round the edge of that uh, church I'll be looking see. I think we'll corner I think we'll corner this corner. The Glen is up there. This is where the parade's coming from. I'd possibly stop here. Get a shot from here. Now, I know what level will be like. I'll look up here and have a look and see if there's any high vantage points. Obviously you'll want to get in front of the crowd. Okay, you can clearly see I've got myself up higher. That's going to be a brilliant vantage point here. Just down there, where the corner is with the, the railing and the wall. So I take a shot from here. Yeah. Photographer.
So guys, here we are. We're coming up to where they're going to be meeting. I'm early. I think I'm here about 40 minutes. I'm here about 40 minutes before it's meant to start, so I think it's always good to do that because it's easy to... Look, if you come across a parade or a demonstration and it's a... Uh, So, if you come across a parade or a demonstration and you haven't got time to do what I've done, then just wing it. There's a rain starting again. But if you've got time, do a bit of research on what the campaign's about, what the demonstration's about. Look out for some of the key speakers. But if you can't get to the, uh, the place where they're going to be meeting, this is called the Glen here. In Waterford. I might go up here and take a bit of shelter up in the band stand. So you go guys, that's a preparation done. You're not going to cover everything, all the eventualities, but it's good genuinely to I'm too sure if the wind muffler is blocking the wind here. But you're not gonna, you know, cover everything. You're gonna come up against things you have to think quick. But the more preparation you do when you're covering something like this, then the better the photographs is going to be. Because I've done enough parades in my day, you just, you just winged it when you got there, and then you realise that you missed out. Till other photographers, they were able to find the high vantage points. Yeah, so I could do no more. And that's all you can do, you can just do your best. And it's just to eliminate any, uh, any things that's going to come up against you when you're on that day, taking the photographs. Now, you're not going to cover everything. So you have to keep your wits about you. What I would say is make sure you have extra batteries, extra cards, or film if you're shooting film. Notebook and pen, maybe a, a recorder, audio recorder. There's going to be speeches afterwards. Because you can turn this into a, a freelance story. You can contact the press, make sure you get people's names. A lot of the speakers, they may have their own scripts. As soon as they finish, nip over. Ask them, can you have their uh, notes? And then that way you've got a copy of it. If they say no, say, can I take some photographs of it? There's not going to be a problem because they're going to just have words for words what they've said. So take photographs of their notes. Uh, make sure you numbered. Or make sure you're not going to miss it. So there you go. And that's it. Now, got a half an hour now. I'm going to go and get a cup of coffee. It's very, very cold. I'm not going to be talking now after this. What you're going to see is just the uh, parade unfolding. And happy days are here again. Here we go. Send you love from Ireland, guys. Thanks again for watching.